If you can't seem to figure out how much inventory you need to start an online store, then I suggest you watch this video. I'm Chanel the Brand Hustler and this is a channel for all of my hustle babes who are interested in gaining insight on the entrepreneurial journey while learning essential marketing and business tips for their brand. If that sounds like you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the hustle babe community. So this video is the most, the most requested topic ever. So if you don't know, I help a lot of product-based entrepreneurs brand and market their business but before they brand and market their business they have to buy the product that they want to market right so i get hit with this question all the time chanel how much inventory should i start out with i've never had a business before I've never launched a product before. How much should I start with? I wanted to make this video today to answer your questions to the best of my ability. If you're interested in that, you definitely wanna watch all the way throughout the end to make sure that you catch all of the information I am going to be dropping today. I am going to share with you the signs that you need to pay attention to during your first launch. I am going to share with you the three factors that you need to identify in order to figure out how much inventory that you need. And then I'm going to give you my recommendations on how much product you should invest in for your first launch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. First things first, when you are launching a new business, you're launching your new online store, your boutique, hair store, whatever, there are a couple of things that you need to pay attention to during your first release of your product. These things that you need to pay attention to will basically determine whether your business flips or flops, right? And so, one of the things that you need to pay attention to is how your audience reacts to your products. The first launch is a learning phase, okay? That means that you don't know anything about what your audience is going to like. You can assume, you can prove it with research, but you never know until you put it out there. So when you put out a line of products or a collection of items, see what draws the most attention from your audience, and then you know in the future you should definitely bring more styles back like that. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is you want to pay attention to what goes the fastest and what doesn't go at all. So you wanna pay attention to the things that are hot because that means that at the drop of a dime you can release a product that is similar to that product or more of that product that you already dropped and it will go again like this because that is what the trends are showing. You need to pay attention to what's not moving at all because then that usually means that you don't need to sell that product anymore or that the marketing that you're doing for that particular product needs to be revamped. So those are a couple of things that you definitely want to pay attention to during your first launch. A lot of people just launch, throw up stuff, and think that they just need to sit back and wait for a sale. And if they make a sale, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm so lucky I made a sale. In reality, everything is backed with data. So that means you need to be using your launch as a data collector, okay? So everything that happens during that period, right? I treat my launch period as the first 90 days. Everything that happens within the first 90 days, you need to be collecting data on it. You need to be collecting the different amounts of clicks, the different amounts of inquiries about a certain product, the different amounts of sales, all that stuff needs to be collected within the first 90 days because that helps. Now that you know some of the audience signs that you should pay attention to and that you should be taking note of during your first 90 days of launching your business, let's get into the meat of this video, which is me telling you the three factors that can help you determine how much inventory to start with. 
The first one is super obvious and that is your budget. Let's be realistic about how much we can invest into inventory. Do not run yourself dry trying to get 500 products. You are a brand new business. You don't have the means to do that. And so why would you put yourself into debt because you are trying to keep up with the Joneses? Instead, start with what you can, start with what works with your budget and scale your way up. Because in reality, whatever you make within your first launching of your product should be reinvested into your business anyway say for example you have a budget and you're able to buy a hundred dollars worth of eyelashes right so you get about 50 pairs of eyelashes because they run you at about two dollars per pair from your vendor you get about 50 pairs of eyelashes for a total of $100 and then you sell those eyelashes for $10 right 10 times 50 lashes is 500. If you were to sell out of all 50 lashes, you just made $500 where you only spent $100 to actually get the lash. That's 400 additional dollars that you didn't have before. Now you can use that 400 additional dollars and reinvest into your business to get more inventory. So now you know that the 100 could get you 50. Now you can say, okay, well, let me test out 100 pair of lashes or 150 pair of lashes and use some of the money that I made from my first launch. That's how you want to think about it. Too many times I come into contact with new business owners that think that they need to be fashion over the first day they launch. And that's not how it works. Fashion Nova wasn't even Fashion Nova <laughs> the first day they launched either, okay? You all have to start somewhere. Everybody starts from somewhere. Do not try to run yourself dry trying to keep up with everybody else because you're just gonna be left with pretty much a ton of inventory and broke pockets, okay? So make sure that you are going according to your budget. The second factor is you want to think about how hard are you really going for your launch marketing. The reason why this is a determination within how much inventory you get is because if you are just launching and you're just putting stuff up, it's not going to move as fast as it would if you actually put the thought and the strategy behind it and you've been promoting this pre-launch before it happened, right? And if you don't know what launch marketing strategy is, then I suggest that you book a strategy call with me because we can talk about it. We can get some ideas flowing. I can help you out. Book a strategy call by clicking the link in the bio. But basically, if you are going to run a pre-launch marketing campaign, right? So a, a whole overall strategy on how you're gonna promote your products, how you're gonna promote the debut of your business, you have a higher chance of making more sales than a person who just pops up and says hey we're open I'm selling today do you get what I'm saying so if you have a higher chance of making sales it means that you can afford to get more inventory do you see how that adds up so first your budget if you have more of a budget you can afford to get more inventory if you have less of a budget let's work with what you have and scale from there the second is that you are at a space where you have to determine how hard you're going to go, how much time, how much effort, and how much moolah you're going to invest into your launch marketing strategy. And depending upon that, if you about to go all out and have a bunch of celebrities making wearing your products or using your products as influencers as a part of your launch marketing strategy, then you have a high chance of selling a lot of product, which means you can afford to get more product within your launch phase. The third thing, the third factor that you should consider when it comes to getting inventory for the very first launch of your online store is your goal, right? So what exactly is your sales goal for your launch? And some people are like, oh my goodness, I never thought of a goal before. I just got out and I just was like, oh, I just, want to put some stuff up and sell it. If that's you right now, I need you to start thinking about your goals, okay? And I have a goal planning workbook that I don't sell yet, but if you do a strategy session with me, I might just give you that goal planning workbook for free. But you want to have goals for everything in business. And usually when you just launch, 
you want to set certain launch goals you want to talk about how much you want to make in sales you probably want to talk about how much you want to grow your email list you want to talk about how much you want your instagram following to grow within that first 90 day period of you launching okay and so if you have set out for example that you want to make 5,000 in sales during your launch. You need to think about the pricing of your actual product and that will tell you how much of that product you need to hit that $5,000 goal. So let's pull up a calculator so that I could explain it better for you guys. So if your first goal when you first launch is $5,000, and you sell, let's talk about eyelashes again, you sell $10 eyelashes. If you do $5,000 divided into $10, it means that you need to sell 500 pairs of eyelashes within your first 90 days. Whoa. Crazy, but not too crazy. And so, if you need to sell 500 pairs of eyelashes, obviously you're gonna need 500 pairs of eyelashes to sell. So that means you can take that 500 amount and you can just get that in bulk all at once or you can split that up monthly. And so you can divide 500 into three and you can get 160 lashes for the first month, see how it moves, and then continue on from there. Now this was an outrageous amount, right? Especially when you're using something like lashes, but that just puts it in, into perspective. So if you sell clothes, if you sell shoes, let's say you sell shoes and your average shoe was $50 for your heels, right? And you wanted to make 5,000 within your launch. If you do 5,000 and divide that into 50, you only have to sell 100 pairs of heels within three months. That's about 33 pairs of heels each and every month, which means that you can start out by getting all 100 pairs of heels, or you can divide that into three, like I said, and you can get 33 pairs of heels every month, and that is more doable. So what you wanna do with your goal is you wanna see how much it is that you have the goal to make. Make sure that your goal is realistic you don't hop out the gate saying that you want to make a million within your first quarter right but be realistic into how much you're actually going to put into your launch and be realistic into just your lifestyle your your work ethic all of that right everybody doesn't make a million within their first quarter because everybody doesn't have the mindset or the work ethic or the means to make a million within their first quarter okay so think about what your actual goal is and then compare that to the price of your product and do the math do the math to figure out how much of that product you're going to need to actually reach your sales goal number that you have in mind all right so those are the three factors so once again your budget how much effort you're gonna put into your launch marketing and then the third is what your goals are and that is how you will determine how much inventory to actually purchase for your launch now I know that you came to this video because you're like I want an answer I just need to know how much give me an amount give me an amount Chanel I don't care about none of those uh, other things that you said I want you to tell me how much to get and I'm about to tell you somewhat all right so here are my recommendations disclaimer my recommendations does not mean that they are 100% correct this is just what I would do if I were starting out in your shoes with that shoe business or hair business or clothing business okay there is absolutely no magic number to how much inventory you should start out with you have to pay attention to the three factors that i just mentioned and how they apply to you and your business and decide from there how much inventory but let's say that i was starting a clothing business what i would do is i would try to get at least 10 pieces or 10 full looks depending on my budget if i had the budget so for 10 full looks which sometimes is a bottom and a top which that's two separate pieces then i would go ahead and do 10 full looks if i didn't have the, the full budget to do that then i'm gonna get 10 pieces one may be a top one may be a dress something like that right and so for me clothing motifs i always tell if you have absolutely no idea after watching this video what to do start off with 10 pieces and start off with one pack of each of those pieces okay so a pack in vendor terms is usually when it comes in a set amount and the set amount is usually six sometimes it'll be a little bit more sometimes it'll be a little bit less but usually the pack is six so usually I tell people to start off with one pack 10 items or if you have the budget to go a level up 10 outfits 
a pack of each of the items within the outfit. That's what I would do if I were starting an online clothing boutique. If I was starting a hair store, what I would do is I would pick the top two or three textures and start out with that. I would then look into my target audience and figure out what lengths they will most likely buy. So if you are a hair store that's targeting working women in corporate America, they're probably gonna be interested in bobs or your average length hairstyles. If you're targeting more of the younger going out crowd, they're probably interested in the longer inches of hair, the 24s, the 26s, and things like that. So depending on what your target audience is, that's how I would decide what inches I'm going to get. But I would start out with two or three textures and pick the most popular popular inches among my target audience that is keyword among my target audience this is not guesswork this is you picking based on your target audience now let's talk about shoes if I were to start an online shoe boutique I am probably gonna start off with five styles the reason why I go so low with shoe boutiques is because depending on your vendor you may have to get a pack of 12 all right and nobody wants a whole ton of shoes sitting around that's not moving. So I would only invest in five styles. Now, if I had a vendor that didn't do a pack of 12 and I can do maybe five of one shoe, six of one shoe, then I would make it more of a variety. So actually, when I had my shoe boutique, I had a vendor that didn't do set quantities. So I was able to get one of one shoe if I wanted to. So what I did with that is I was able to launch and I launched with about 10 styles instead of five because I didn't have 12 pairs of shoes. I didn't have to invest in 10 times 12, 120 pairs of shoes. I just had to invest in whatever amount I wanted of each shoe for those styles. But if you do have to go by the pack amount, which is the 12 pairs of shoes, then I suggest starting with five. Now, if you have the budget to start with more, go ahead and do that. If you have the launch strategy behind it to start with more, go ahead and do that. So it really just depends. And so with those three examples, I hope that you saw that although I can give you my recommendations, it still varies on a case by case basis. So really hone in on what your sales goal is and look at your budget. Be serious and realistic about your budget and be serious and realistic about how much you are investing into launching. I am sick of everyone just randomly popping up and saying, I'm open today, I'm selling something. That is not how you do it. You need to have a strategy behind your launch if you want your launch to be successful. And once again, if you're interested in learning all about how you can make a launch marketing strategy, then you should probably book a strategy session with me and let's talk about it. Let's get your questions answered. Let's see how I can help you have the best launch possible, okay? And I hope you learned something from this video today. This was a burning question from a lot of people and so I had to make a video about it. If you watched this video and it helped you, comment down below which part of the video you love the most that helped you out. Comment down below. I want to see it. Show me some love if this was helpful information to you because I do this to help you succeed okay i just want to make sure that this topic is something that is touching a lot of people okay so comment down below what your favorite part of the video was and if this was helpful to you make sure that you follow me on instagram if you haven't already at the brand hustler and you can follow my personal instagram at i am chanel q subscribe to this channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone you know it can help do not be stingy share the video with someone that you know it can help and other than that i will see you later hustle babes bye